सो लेट एस नो डिस्कस अबाउट रैंक रैंक इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी दैट अ मैट्रिक्स कैन हैव इट इज अ सिंगल नंबर इट इज अ सिंगल नंबर दैट इज वेरी पावरफुल विच मीन्स दैट a matrix has one num uh, one number which is called rank and then this rank is one of the most powerful number that that matrix can carry which means this number or this rank can tell many things about a matrix so let's just see what is a rank so by definition rank is uh, number of linearly dependent uh, rows so this hash means number okay i mean this is just a short to write number so hash means number so this rank means that number of linearly independent rows or number of linearly independent columns or number of pivot elements in the equivalent form or non zero rows in the equivalent form actually all of these are equal and by definition all of this is called rank now uh, like i will prove or i will give you the intuitive idea that why why these all are equal specifically why this number of rows and independent number of columns are equal i will give you the intuitive idea later okay so this rank is defined like this now let's just quickly jump to a question so that you can understand what is this rank suppose if i ask you to find out the rank here as i told you this rank is number of pivot elements in the equivalent form right in the equivalent form so uh, number of the pivot elements in the equivalent form now let's just find out the number of pivot elements in the equivalent form so for that i need to first convert that to equivalent form which means i need to have all the zeros here that are already already there all the zeros all the zeros all the zeros so okay uh, this matrix is already in the equivalent form now you just count the number of pivot elements so this is the pivot element i think this is the pivot element this is the pivot element this is the pivot element so if this matrix is m then i can say rank of this matrix m is basically 4 why because there are four pivot element that's how you can easily find out rank of this matrix now let's solve this question they are asking the rank of a matrix and matrix given is this this has been asking gate 1994 Let's just solve this question. That how to find the rank. So to find the rank, you need to convert the matrix into equivalent form, and that procedure is called Gaussian elimination, right? So uh, let's just do it. If that is zero, first zero, then can you make it non-zero by interchange? Yes, you can interchange with the second, or you can interchange with the third. But we like to interchange with the third. Uh, reason being is that we want to keep all the zeros at the last. So let me just say that R one can be interchanged with R three, right? And after this, the operation after this operation, you will be getting three one one. Nine three five and zero zero minus three. Then you see that you need to make all of this zero, which means you can apply. Uh, okay, you can apply r r two should be replaced by r two minus three r one. I think that is a good choice. Now if you do this, you will be getting three one one, which is as it is. Right. Okay. Let me just adjust this. Yeah, you will be getting three one one, which is as it is, and then you will be getting this is zero nine minus three or uh, nine minus nine is zero, three minus three is also zero, and then five minus three will be two, and then this is zero zero minus three, right? And then you need to make this also zero. So I think you can easily make this, this zero, and I think we have done already uh, already this question. Uh, now I remember, right? So you can definitely make this zero. I don't care about the operation, but you can definitely replace the R three by by something and by by making this zero. So which means that ultimately you will be having two non-zero rows, right? This is three one one, this is zero zero two, and then this is zero zero zero. Let's not worry about the operation that you will be having here. Now, see here, this is the pivot element. This is the pivot element. So there are two pivot elements. That's why the rank is two. very easy question right so that's how easily you can find out the rank now whatever earlier examples we did like you can find the rank just using the gaussian elimination so for example like we did some example here right so this was the example where we are converting this matrix to equivalent form and if i if i just ask the rank of this matrix then once you get the equivalent form let's just count the number of pivot element number of pivot elements are two so that's why the rank of this particular matrix is also two similarly if someone ask you rank of this particular matrix okay we just did it this is also two right so that's how you can solve these questions for the rank you just need to convert to the equivalent matrix and count the number of pivot elements now rank is always positive it can be zero also okay it is like i can say non negative so which means it would be positive or zero but zero is only when the matrix is zero matrix which means if all are zeros then only the mat then only the rank is zero otherwise the rank is non zero okay or and positive also because it is number of pivot elements if the number of pivot elements are zero it means all must be zero then rank will be zero otherwise rank will never be zero so rank zero means that uh, that uh, matrix is zero matrix or vice versa also okay i mean if matrix is zero matrix then only rank could be zero or vice versa if rank is zero it must mean then rank that matrix is zero matrix right now 
in the row euclidean form as i told you that rank of a matrix is equal to number of pivot elements which is also equal to number of linearly independent columns which is also equal to number of linearly independent rows so this is just a summary that uh, i mean this is just a same definition of the rank that we have right now tell me this if i say number of pivot variables plus number of free variables are equal to total number of variables then i mean which means that uh, the total number of variables you can rewrite it number of pivot and free variables so for any matrix you will be having either pivot variable i mean uh, see for for any matrix you will be having let's suppose this is corresponding to x this is corresponding to y this is corresponding to z and let's suppose this is augmented column which is uh, which is basically the vector b right this is this is augmented vector b now for any matrix you will be having either pivot variable either x is a variable uh, x is a pivot variable or x is a free variable suppose x is a pivot variable and z is a pivot variable so either there are pivot variable and free variable so you can say that total number of variable which are three which are equal to pivot variable plus free variables which are also equal to total number of columns or rows what do you think so here it is always columns right because every column is corresponding to variable so either i write variable or i write column both are same so every column is corresponding to variable so which means you you can say that total number of columns whatever you have okay let's suppose the here you have three columns so three can be divided into pivot columns and free columns which means pivot columns are two here free columns is one so for example if you have n columns then you can say there are some free columns some pivot columns let's suppose there are r pivot columns then there will be n minus r free columns right and number of pivot columns is also called as rank number of pivot columns is also called as rank i hope that is fine so what i mean to say here is that let me just tell you see what i am saying that you have one matrix where you have you have n columns right let's suppose 1 2 3 let's suppose n columns i'm talking about the only coefficient matrix this this is the extra column that we have now out of these n columns n columns you can say in coefficient matrix okay in coefficient matrix which means not in the augmented matrix obviously i i never care about this as as long as i am caring about the pivot variable or the free variable because it does not correspond to any variable okay the variables are here only x y z w or whatever the variable variables are here only so the total number of variables or the total number of columns can be divided into two parts free free variable or the free uh, free column or the pivot variable or the pre, um, pivot column let's suppose if the pivot column is r then free variable will be n minus r Or three columns only n minus r. So I will say that uh, this number pivot element or, or number pivot pivot variables or number pivot columns are rank, and there is one more term which is called nullity. Nullity. Nullity is defined as number of free variables. Okay. So there is a term called nullity. Let me write it here. Nullity, which is which is basically number of number of free variables. Okay. So. let me write here rank is number of pivot variables number of pivot columns or pivot variables or whatever you want to write and similarly nullity is nullity is number of free okay number of free columns now suppose if this is r now suppose if rank is r then what about uh, uh, what about nullity nullity if the total number of columns are n then what what will the nullity see the total number of columns will be divided in, between rank and nullity i mean uh, the pivot columns and the free columns right rank and nullity if this is r then this will be n minus r or in other words if you just add both rank and nullity you will be getting the total number of columns because because if this is pivot let's suppose let's suppose these are the pivot okay Th this is pivot this is pivot and and this is free okay let's suppose these two are free or maybe these three are free then you will say that these three will corresponding to nullity these two will corresponding to rank and the total is 5 so that's why five columns are divided into rank and nullity right see that's very important to understand that you have n columns you are you are saying out of those n columns some columns are free some columns are pivot and the pivot columns are called as rank and the free columns are called as nullity so hence from here you can say that rank plus nullity okay uh, sorry yeah. so from here you can say there is a theorem which says actually rank plus nullity equal to n and what is this n here n is total number of columns number of columns okay in a in a a means like a means coefficient matrix if i say ab it means augmented matrix and a means just coefficient matrix okay in a 
so this theorem is very nice now now this rank as i told you is number of pivot elements and this nullity is basically number of free elements or the free columns so this is free columns this is pivot columns now this nullity is also defined as uh, as some other thing which we don't need but if you want i can just write the de definition which is called dimension of the null space dimension of the null space actually this null space column space and row space these things are not in the syllabus so we will not go to all of these details but yeah nullity is something which is called dimension of the null space basically there is a space which is r power n i mean this space r power n is divided into null space i mean uh, some of the part is divided into null space and then column space okay anyway let's not worry about all of this maybe uh, maybe that's not relevant but yeah this uh, this n is divided into rank rank and nullity in the similar way you can say the spaces are divided into two parts i mean uh, some some portion is called uh, is covered by null space some portion is covered by column space anyway let's not worry about all of this okay cool so here rank plus nullity is n now i hope you understood this 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 sometimes useful theorem i mean uh, if you add rank and nullity you will get total number of columns and also that is obvious why because rank is from pivot columns and nullity is free columns now i hope you understood this okay so in the next video we will we will actually solve the system of linear equations so till now we are just uh, understanding few few terms here and there and then in the next video we will solve the system of linear equations okay so thank you so much